One day, a little girl was sitting and watching her mother do the dishes at the kitchen. She suddenly noticed that her mother had several strands of white hair st sticking out. So she looked at her mother and inquisitively asked, Why are some of your hairs white, mom? Her mother replied, Well, every time that you do something wrong and make me cry or unhappy, one of my hairs turns white. The little girl thought about it for a while and then said, Mama, how come all of grandma's hairs are white? <laughs> Once again, happy Mother's Day. When my wife, Grace, was pregnant, she and I could see our children, Eric and Patrick, with their sonogram before they were born. We could see legs, arms, and head. Even the sonogram technician could tell if the child is a boy or a girl. We were excited to see our children in advance before they were born. I'm pretty sure many of you have this kind of experience before your children were born. I'm sure you must have been excited. My wife and I still have the sonogram pictures of our children. Whenever we see the pictures, we are amazed and we are very thankful for the grace of God. Technology is great. Sonogram technology enables to see a baby before the baby is born. According to the scripture today, a long time ago, God had already a sonogram. It is much greater than the sonograms in hospitals. Through the sonogram, God already knows about the babies. Not only does God know a baby in a womb, but also God knows the baby even before the baby is conceived. He blesses the babies and sends them to the world. The scripture today describes God already knew Jeremiah even before he was conceived in his mother's womb. The verse 5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated Today, we are able to see God's sonogram pictures in today's scripture. Like God knew and blessed Jeremiah, God knew us and blessed us even before we were born. I was reading the scripture, a theological term uh, just came to my mind, that is prevenient, grace, which means grace which comes before. I'm pretty sure today's scripture is very related to prevenient grace. God's grace and mercy start even before we are born. As a pastor, I have a chance to visit the houses of church members. Then I can see their pictures on the table or on wall. Especially I ask them if I can see pictures taken when they were child. I have a couple of reasons for that. First, I don't know who they will look like, you know, how they look like before, so I'm kind of curious about it. Second, I don't know what their life journey was about. The past plays an important role in formulating who we are in the present. So if I can see their pictures taken in the past, then I can get a sense of what their life journey was like. When I see the pictures, I can feel God's grace throughout their life journey. Sometimes I see my own pictures taken when I was a child. So I'll, I'll show you my picture. <laughs> Can you see my two sisters and my older brother? And I am standing there. Um, I don't remember the moment when the picture was taken, but I think it was like I was five or six years old. 
And my brother and my sisters remember the moment. According to them, it was a bright and very sunny day. We were facing sun. So therefore, my eyes are kind of frowned. I look like angry. But um, you know what? I don't remember the moment, but my family remembers it. Likewise, although we don't remember the moment of grace in our life, God has been with us all the time through our lifetime. Brothers and sisters, today I'd like to give you a homework. Don't be surprised by the homework, but uh, it'll take only just five minutes this week. If you go back to your home, please take five minutes and please open your album, picture albums, and see pictures taken when you're a child, when you're a youth, when you're a young adult, and you're grown up. And just take a moment of time of reflection. Just meditate on them. And just have a time to track down your life journey just briefly for five minutes. Then I'm sure you'll notice the grace of God was there before you were born. It was there while you were struggling with something in life. Although your life was tough at times, I'm pretty sure you'll notice God has been guiding you safely and meaningfully with his grace. Brothers and sisters, today is Mother's Day. It is a time to think about how great mothers are. They dedicate and sacrifice themselves for their children. Because of mothers, we are here today. In retrospect, my mother was not perfect. She was a human being, but when it comes to her children, she was always loving and caring. Whatever she did for children, it was from her love toward us. God is like mother. God always takes care of people as his children. As we celebrate Mother's Day today, we recognize the love of our mothers. Additionally, we recognize how much God loves us. And God is a good example of God's love toward us. Mother, she is the presence of God in the midst of us. So God sent us to us to remind us how much God loves us. In conclusion, let me share a story. A young father and his daughter took a cruise ship. The, ship, uh, the cruise was not for fun. It was for getting fresh air in order to forget the loss of a mother who had recently passed away. On the deck, the father held her tight. She asked him, Daddy, does God love us? Perplexed, he couldn't answer the question at first. He wanted to avoid the question. On second thought, however, he realized that he wasn't able to avoid the question, so he pointed the horizon and said, My loving daughter, the love of God goes further than we are able to see in this direction. And he pointed the, the rear and said, God's love goes further than we can see in this way too. And he looked up sky and said, God's love is higher than the sky. And he pointed the ocean and said, and God's love is deeper than this ocean. At the moment, the daughter said, Daddy, then we are right in the middle of God's love. Brothers and sisters, the love of God is still there. It is steadfast. The grace started before we were born. It is still going on, and it will be with us all the time. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Let us pray together. Oh Lord, thanks for your grace, your prevenient grace in particular, your grace for us at this moment, and your grace for us in the future as well. 
Sometimes we are weak and tempted, but because of your grace, we are able to sustain ourselves and follow your way faithfully. Whenever we struggle with something in life, whenever we are tempted and discouraged to follow you, please remind us that your love and your grace always follow us even before we are born. In your precious name we pray, amen.